Some people approach an issue and say, well, this issue is too big. I can't do anything about it. But you never know what can grow from just one thing. I had a passion for cooking, and that's the reason I took up a specialization as a chef. I was working six months when I saw a very old man. He was having his own human waste for hunger. I was totally shocked. So I took a breakfast and gave it to that old man. He ate those so very fast, eyes full of tears, and he gave me a look of gratitude. That was a silent revolution of self-realization. I'm going to quit my job. So slowly, I started feeding one, two, three, four. So far, from 2002, we could have served 1.9 million food to these people. If they say food is love, then it's truly, it is inspired so much love. After seeing how many people that my cabbage fed, I thought one cabbage helped to feed 275 people. Now, how many people do you think one garden could help feed? And after starting that one garden at my house, I asked my school. And then just kind of snowballed from there. We have 40 acres. I said, whatever you need, we can start clearing. There will be 47 Katie's Crops Gardens growing across the United States this spring. And these are going to go to families who don't have anything. The sandwiches that you made this morning are going to be eaten tonight by people that have no place to stay. Last year, I passed out 750,000 sandwiches. I have 10 freezers in my apartment. The last time I slept in a bed was 12 years ago. I sleep in a van at night, one or two hours. And now I know I need more sleep because I've got some health problems. Thank you very much. But people ask me why I do this. I said, if I was homeless and I was hungry and someone had brought me a sandwich, I'd say, thank you. The joy of giving and joy of sharing is a universal thing you can do with anybody. If that thought is penetrated among the minds of everybody, this world will be a beautiful place to live in. When I planted that seedling, I didn't think that any of this would happen.